today i am going to teach you about systemic vascular resistance and pulmonary vascular resistance what do you think having kind of resistance is good or bad i will give an example last week few of my friends went to a trip they asked me to come as well but my mother refused it mother paid high resistance on it but my father create less resistance my mother create high resistance then i said i can't come into trip after about one week they all positive for novel corona virus 2019 now the whole of them are quarantine have of some kind of resistance is good now you realize having some kind of resistance is good human body also say having some kind of resistance is good i will tell how you all know your main arterial pressure or mean systemic arterial pressure equal to cardiac output into total peripheral resistance or systemic vascular resistance that mean to have adequate mean arterial pressure you should have adequate cardiac output and adequate systemic vascular resistance why you need to have adequate main arterial pressure adequate main arterial pressure is necessary for perfusion of vital organ i asked what are the vital organs then second year a young beautiful girl said second year one young medical girl said hair teeth and skin are the vital organ that may be true in her case but when coming to general population they taken as vital organ as heart brain and kidney are the vital organ in order to focus those organ you should have at least more than 65 mm mercury mean arterial pressure so for that you should have adequate amount of cardiac output and adequate amount of systemic vascular resistance for a while we think your systemic vascular resistance start to rise in due to some pathology so in order to maintain your main arterial pressure your cardiac output has to drop sometime due to reduction of cardiac output your organ perfusion will be impaired other way also can happen due to some reasons or sitting sepsis your systemic vascular resistance is start to become low dangerously so you have to have high cardiac output in order to maintain your main arterial pressure so because of that you should have some kind of optimum cardiac output and optimum systemic vascular resistance in order to maintain the optimum mean arterial pressure so your cardiac output is stroke volume into heart rate stroke volume about 70 ml heart rate 72 beat per minute so your cardiac output came as 5 liter per minute in healthy individual healthy adult individual the cardiac output approximately 5 liter per minute you already know you are right proximal aortic pressure not the right proximal aortic pressure some mean arterial pressure near equal to 93 mm mercury 93 mm mercury for the calculation purposes i will take it as 100 mm mercury you are right atrial pressure 5 mm mercury you have mean pulmonary artery pressure mean pulmonary artery pressure approximately 15 mm mercury you are left atrial pressure also approximately 5 mm Okay. Now I am going to calculate my systemic vascular resistance right now. So right now my mean arterial pressure in the approximately about a hundred. Right atrial pressure five millimeter mercury. Main pulmonary artery pressure fifteen millimeter mercury. And left atrial pressure five millimeter mercury. If you remember the Ohm law, it says Ohm law says. voltage difference equal to current into resistance 
I am going to apply same principle here. I am going to apply ohm law into my body. Even though it is not a current, I will take cardiac output as a current. So, voltage difference, mean arterial pressure minus right atrial pressure. Mean arterial pressure minus right atrial pressure equal to current mean cardiac output into resistance. So, my 60 V vascular resistance, I can write as mean arterial pressure minus right atrial pressure divided by cardiac output. Oh, then I can, I can calculate my maternal side resistance here 100 minus 5 divided by 5. Because of the unit changes, here 5 liter, here millimeter mercury, we want to convert into the single unit. Because of that, I have to add some conversion factor here, it is 80. It is one of the constant, I am going to add 80 here. So, here 95 divided by 5 into 80, approximately 1500 unit came as dyne dyne dot s dot second pi minus. Your systemic vascular resistance, my systemic vascular resistance right now is roughly about 1500. Sometimes my mean arterial pressure can be low as 65. At least I should have 65 millimeter mercury mean arterial pressure. We will calculate resistance for that value as well. Here it can be 65 millimeter mercury without any trouble. So I am going to calculate for that value as well. So your systemic vascular resistance in that case equal to mean arterial pressure 65 minus 5 divided by 5 liter into 80. Here 60 divided by 5 into 80. Again 12 into 80 roughly about 1000 again dying second second minus 5. So in normal healthy individual, in normal healthy individual, the systemic vascular resistance should be somewhere around 1000 to 1500. Normal healthy individual systemic vascular resistance between 1500 and 1000. Okay, then we move into the pulmonary vascular resistance. Here, this is the our maternal side, my maternal side resistance. Now I am going to check my paternal side resistance. Actually, it is a lesser amount, but we reluctant to ask question from father as usual. Again, I am going to apply ohm law here. Systemic vascular resistance, sorry, pulmonary vascular resistance equal to mean pulmonary artery pressure minus mean pulmonary artery pressure minus left atrial pressure divided by cardiac output. Here it is 15 minus 5 divided by 15 minus 5 divided by 5 liter into 80. Again 2 into 80, it is 160. Again, unit is same dyne dot s dot s minus 5. So, your pulmonary vascular resistance is very low one. When compared to the systemic vascular resistance, it is about 1500, it is about 150, roughly about 150. It is, we can say, is approximately 10 times lesser than systemic vascular resistance. Your pulmonary vascular resistance approximately one tenth of systemic vascular resistance. That means your maternal side resistance is ten times more than paternal side resistance. Now I am going to tell what is this dyne unit. What is that dyne unit? Here we have one gram of blood. Here we have one gram of blood. You want to give one gram of blood. You want to give 1 centimeter per second per second acceleration for this mass. 
the force need for that is called one die. One die. I will repeat it again. You have one gram of blood. You need to give one centimeter per second per second acceleration for that max. The amount of force need for that is called one die. It is equal to. is equal to this much of newton one to one lakh newton so that very very small amount of force you need to give rise to one die why this systemic vascular resistance and pulmonary vascular resistance is important as i already told if you having high systemic vascular resistance due to some pathology or some drug when you start in the drug you can create high systemic vascular resistance example vasoconstrictors like noradrenaline or phenylephrine drugs going to constrict your vessels because of that your systemic vascular resistance is start to go up they going to constrict the, your arterioles because of that your systemic vascular resistance is start to go up because of that your cardiac output can be dangerously low in that case you have to balance the drug versus cardiac output or due to some sepsis your systemic vascular resistance can become dangerously low in that case you have to add some kind of systemic some kind of vasoconstrictors in order to maintain the systemic vascular resistance that's all thank you very much